India's foray into space research started in the early 1960s when satellite applications were in the experimental stages worldwide. After witnessing the importance of space science, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the visionary behind India's space program, quickly realized the application of space technologies for India's mass communication. He had a strong conviction and a visionary outlook, recognizing that the vast resources in space would tackle the real problems of society in the country. He gathered a team of exceptionally talented and highly skilled people, including scientists, anthropologists, communicators and social scientists from all over the world to lead the Indian Space Programme. In order to lead the space research activities, the Indian National Committee for Space Research, INCOSPAR, was established in 1962 within the Department of Atomic Energy. Following that, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, was founded in August 1969, replacing INCOSPAR. In June 1972, the Government of India formed the Space Commission and established the Department of Space, or DOS. Later, in September 1972, ISRO was brought under the DOS. The prime objective of ISRO, DOS, is the development and application of space technology for various national needs. With the objective of achieving this goal, ISRO has developed significant space systems for communication, television broadcasting and meteorological services as well as resource monitoring and management and space-based navigation services. ISRO has successfully developed satellite launch vehicles namely PSLV, GSLV and LVM3 which are specifically designed to precisely position satellites in their designated orbits. ISRO functions through various centers and units located across the country. The headquarters is located in Bengaluru, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, VSSC, Thiruvananthapuram, is the lead center for developing launch vehicles. Satellites are meticulously crafted and engineered at the UR Rao Satellite Center, URSC, in Bengaluru. The payloads and applications are designed and developed by Space Application Center, Ahmedabad, Satish Dhawan Space Center, SDSC Shar, Srihari Kota, is the second best launch port in the world and houses the solid motor production and test facilities and the launch base infrastructure, the assembly and integration facilities, launch pads, satellite preparation, tracking and telecommand systems are part of the launch complex. The development of liquid stages and cryogenic stages is carried out at the Liquid Propulsion Systems Center LPSC in Baliamala and Bengaluru. IPRC has cutting-edge assembly, integration and testing facilities for qualifying the liquid semi-cryo and cryo stages. ISTRAC, located in Bengaluru, is entrusted with the responsibility of providing tracking support for all the satellites and launch vehicles. Master control facilities at Hassan and Bhopal will take control of satellites after injection and subsequent maneuvers of Earth observation satellites and continuous monitoring of communication satellites in the orbit. The National Remote Sensing Center NRSC in Hyderabad is responsible for the reception, processing and dissemination of data for remote sensing satellites. ISRO has launched several Earth observation satellites namely CARTOSAT, RISAT, Resource Sat, 
and Oceansat for various applications in the geospatial domain and continuously provide satellite data applications to various user ministries and other users. ISRO also launched a fleet of conventional and high-throughput satellites in the geosynchronous orbit which extends broadband, mobile and weather-related services to the users. NAVIC is the navigation system of India with a constellation of satellites launched in geostationary and geosynchronous orbits to meet the position, navigation and timing services for various users including strategic. ISRO also created records in the interplanetary missions like Mangalyaan and Chandrayaan. ISRO base mission Astrosat, Aditya L1 and Exposat have been contributing immensely for the space research community through various research institutions across the country. The satellite data has been consolidated by ISRO and made available to various users through platforms like Bhuvan, Mosdaq and Vedas. Several government and private users are deriving benefit out of these portals. ISRO is constantly and continuously contributing to the capacity building space infrastructure and human resources in the country through various sponsored R&D programs and outreach activities. From its modest origins, ISRO has today emerged as a leading space agency on the global stage. In addition to serving the nation and its citizens, it endeavors to nurture scientific inquisitiveness within the Indian society.